Merry Christmas, everybody. Jason here with a special holiday review. I'm going to be talking about Who Killed Santa, a Murderville mystery on Netflix. I don't really want to talk too many spoilers because it's one of those experiences best had with fresh eyes. So I'm going to talk about some of the selling points of the, of the special and why I really enjoyed it. And I'm also going to be talking about Murderville in general. If you haven't checked out Murderville yet, head on over to Netflix and check it out. I highly recommend it, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it right now. So when the show was first released earlier this year, I liked the idea. The idea was that Will Arnett plays Terry Seattle, a homicide detective. And each and every episode, he's paired with a new celebrity guest partner. The only catch to the show is that the celebrity partner does not have a copy of the script, so they have no idea what's going on. They have to improvise their way through situations, and ultimately it's up to them to find out who the killer is. I thought this, the idea was fantastic, it was just so different and weird and interesting to have sort of a, a, a improv show about, uh, you know, a murder and mystery show that's also an improv show. It was just really, really cool and got a lot of funny moments. So many good celebrity guests. You've got Conan O'Brien, Ken Jeong, uh, Marshawn Lynch, Sharon Stone, Kamel Nanjiani, and Annie Murphy. It's just... It made for some interesting and fun situations just because especially the fact that Will Arnett is trying to make these people break at the same time they're trying to throw him off to make him break as well. So it's just an interesting combination. Now that was this series. This is a Christmas special which features not one but two guests. Starting things off, you've got Jason Bateman and then later on in the show we have Maya Rudolph. And they just make a hilarious trio, especially because you can kind of tell that it's but like, especially with the rapport that Will Arnett and Jason Bateman have, they're really trying hard to make each other break and make each other laugh. And it's just so much fun to watch. I was, I was giddy the entire time. Now, again, I don't really want to spoil it for anybody, even though it's been out for a week. If you haven't watched it yet, it's best to see it with fresh eyes. So there are a few other surprises along the way. Maybe a few other celebrity guests, you know, you'll just have to see. But it's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the series and I really enjoyed the Christmas special. It's the perfect holiday treat for uh, fans of the Murderville series. And I hope that Netflix picks it up for another season because it's just a strange an exciting concept uh just just for the just for the the sheer hilarity of it so i give who killed santa a murderville mystery a four out of five but that's just my opinion let me know what you thought of who killed santa a murderville mystery uh did you like it were you not so much i want to hear from you if you enjoyed the video click the like button if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get updates on all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until the next one, have a Merry Christmas. Bye.